Hello again. Uh, some of you might be fighting with the issue to find uh, a decent flintstone. Last time we talked about those shards, but if you are living in area that doesn't uh, have any chart or old ports or harbor, there is uh, always a domestic uh, option for that, and that is quartz. It is almost uh, as good as a chart. So today we're gonna find one, and I will uh, show you how good it makes some sparks. Okay, let's go and find ourselves some quartz. So, uh, as you're walking on, uh, the one thing you should look for is those white stones, like this one here. Uh, it's a bit uh, big, so there's a smaller one, the quartz. Is a white stone, usually white, can be uh, transparent almost, uh, the foggy transparent kind, or uh, can be a little bit uh, like a red one that's uh, called rose quartz. But when you find it, the, all you need to do is uh, test it with your flint and steel. Uh, I mean, with your steel, to, does it make any sparks? I will show you. So all you need to do when you find one is uh, take your steel, your striker. Uh, mine is ma made from a uh, old file. I just uh, sand those. Uh, things off so it comes smooth so it needs to be high carbon steel so all you need to do is uh, just test it does it make any sparks yes it's uh, great for fire making it makes great spark I don't know if it loses any for uh, for the chart, I got a chart here. And it's make this kind of sparks. Like you see, it makes a little bit better sparks than a quartz, but not much. So it doesn't be any game changer. So. There's a much bigger uh, part here, but we're gonna leave it. We have uh, enough this uh, quartz. There's sometimes uh, black black spots, and it cracks very easily. If you find uh, manage to find uh, this kind this size, you can always smash it with uh, another stone to get it smaller and smaller and you also need a sharp edge to scratch that strike all right let's move on see if we can uh, find uh, some more okay so as you move on with your bicycle sometimes you bump up some cool things so <laughs> Here's an, here's an uh, skull of some, let me see, maybe a, maybe a deer, deer or uh, I don't know what the, what animals remains are these, it's so badly consumed already, but uh, 
baby are there, there's some uh, bones, bones here too, yes it's a deer, I can tell you because there's uh, toes, <laughs> toes, uh, you know toes, 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 <laughs> all right, maybe a, maybe a lynx or something has killed it, if I had some uh, plastic bag I would take this cool to scare off my kids. <laughs> okay, let's move on. So now as uh, we moved on, I find this uh, cool looking piece of quartz. It's uh, quite big, so we need to break it with a smaller stone. So let's try to hit a piece from it. Yes, all right, so let's try, okay. let's grab our steel, let's find a sharp spot, hit, yes, great box, it, and as you might notice it, uh, it zips, it breaks pretty easily, so maybe a little bit lighter striker might, might be a better for this. Yes, okay, I think uh, this will be enough for a quartz, so in my opinion the best places to find them is uh, gravel roads, uh, parking parking spots where uh, there have been uh, gravel. They are the most common places to find the quartz. But let me show you something. In a matter of fact, we are uh, in a uh, former former uh, city dump right there that they have been uh, landscaped after it's been full so not a bad job you can find uh, glass bottles and uh, car tires if you look closer but uh, not a bad job for my opinion uh, someone who don't uh, know that this was a city dump might not even notice it. Okay, so thanks for watching. Uh, that is all today. Uh, go get yourself a piece of wartstone and start making uh, those flint and steel practices. Practice. Uh, it is not so hard that it looks like. So that is all. Goodbye folks.